Hi there, welcome back to JD Answers. Today I have the unboxing of the two guard dash cam. This is a front dash cam and a cabin dash cam. Well, the first thing I like to do when I do an unboxing is pretty much take a look around the whole box to just to see what the information it has. And right now, just in the front of the box, you have a picture of the dash cam. On the bottom right, it has an icon with two video cameras to let you know that it's a dual camera, meaning not front and back, but just inside the cabin. Now on this side of the box, on the top left, Again, you have the dual 1080 uh, full HD. This is letting you know that the inside cabin and the front camera will be recording at a 1080p full HD. Then the next icon is the G sensor lock, which letting you know if there's an incident, the G sensor will lock that current video. And next to that one is parking monitoring, which works with the G sensor. And again, it will lock those videos if it senses anything going on. And then of course you have the 170 degrees wide angle lens, which lets you know that when you're driving, you can record up to four lanes in front of you. On the next side of the box, again, it goes with the recording and the G sensor lock. And on this side, you have the two guard logo. And on this side of the box, you have the parking monitoring and the 170 degree wide angle lens. And the bottom of the box is blank. All right, now, now let's get inside the box here and let's see what we got. So as we open up the box and you have two smaller boxes inside. All right, let's go ahead and take out the boxes. What I see here is a sticker, which is pretty neat. And it's, you could put it in the back of your car. It just says dash cam recording. I guess to prevent people from getting close to you or tailgating you and so forth. And look right here, you have the manual. All right, it's a pretty thick manual, so it's probably gonna give you a lot of good information on that. When a dash cam company gives you a thick manual, it pretty much goes over everything. So that's pretty good. All right, now let's get into the smaller box here. All right, let's open it up on the side here. And I think this is probably gonna be the actual dash cam. Yeah, I can see it already, all right. As I take it out, you have the dual dash cam. Try to get your good picture here. And you can see those red, those red dots are actually the protective covering. So we got to make sure we take this out before we install it. And you can see how I'm turning the camera. This is going to be the inside cabin to turn the, the cabin round back and forth and to get you to a good position where you need to. Now on the top side, let me turn around here. You actually have the port for the, it's the mini USB that, that powers up the dash cam. And if you get closer, you can see right here, this is where you install the mount. And this one, I think, I believe has a suction cup mount. All right. And on this side, you have the two guard logo. It's pretty neat. Let me get you a little better, better view there. And on the other side is where you're gonna install your micro SD card. And the little button is probably going to be your reset. All right. Now on the top, you're going to have, I think, one, two, three, four, five buttons. So this is going to be pretty neat. On the display, you'll be able to see exactly what those buttons represent. But giving you five buttons is pretty neat. Some give you four, some give you three. This is actually a good amount. On the back of the screen, you'll notice that you have a 1.5 inch screen. And underneath the screen, you have your five buttons. On the buttons from left to right, you have the back button, the OK button. Then you have the left button, then the menu button, and then the right button. On the inside dash cam, it's 140 degrees angle. That way you record everything you need inside your vehicle. On the top left of the screen, you'll see the mic. All right, let's get into the second box here and you open it through the sides. All right, let's start taking these items out here. And the first one is the adhesive mount. And let me just open that real quick here. 
And on this mount, you pretty much just attach to the window shield and you can see right here where the adjustment is. And you can see how I'm adjusting it in and out. That way when you're ready to install a new window shield like this, the dash cam is, is vertical going down. And you just hook it up to that spot right there. That's one of the mounts. All right, and now for the second item is the oh this is going to be the suction mount this is the other mount this is pretty cool how it comes with two different types of mounts and right here you see there's a lock on this and this is how you lock you see the way the way i pushed it up that's how you lock it there's an unlock and a lock right now it's on the unlock and as i get it closer you can see the lock symbol on there and once you put this on your window shield and the position that you want, you just simply lock it. And there's the mount right there. That's where you hook up the dash cam on. All right, this is pretty good. It has a little protective covering on the adhesive mount. So make sure you take that out. And it's not really adhesive, it's a suction cup plastic. And you just see, you see how you just remove it a little bit there. So take it off first and then apply it to the window shield. And then of course, after that, you use the lock on there. But Pretty good. I have these are, and you can see we're adjust right here. You see that I'm adjusting it. All right. Now these are with several dash cams, and it's a very good mount. I haven't had any problems with that. But see, just adjust it where you need to. All right. That's the mount. Just remember to always install these vertical. All right. And let's go ahead and put this together. And you can see where the dash cam comes in. There's some indentions in there where it only goes one way. One side is a flat surface and the other side has an indention to where you insert the dash cam into the suction mount. All right, you can see it there. Oh, the side, there you go. You can see a little better. All right, so let's go ahead and just attach this dash cam to the suction mount cam. Remember, the opening of the indention is not the flat surface. You insert into the dash cam like this and you just slide it in. All right, if I could just get that in there. There you go. All right, that's it pretty simple and then again you could just make sure your vertical as shown here that way it's facing forward the main lens is facing forward the smaller lens is facing on the inside all right and remember those red uh, plastic uh, protective covers make sure you take those out before you install the dash cam let's go ahead and install the adjustable plastic mount into the dash cam and you can see how it look in the window shield and again, just make sure they're vertical up and down. You position them correctly because if you go to the side left or right a little bit, your dash cam is going to be off. Now you could adjust them forward and back, but left and right, you can't. You got to make sure you get a good uh, mount on it. All right, let's see what we have next. And this looks like, yes, it. this is the power cable. And as we take it out, all right, it's a pretty lengthy cord, and it is a standard power socket, pretty much standard with most uh, dash cams. And this is a mini USB cable, and this is a left mini USB cable. You could tell by the flat surface on the top. That's how you know which direction it is. All right, mini USB is a pretty standard with most dash cams. And here's another look to see how it looks. All right, let's see what we got next. And this is, all right, look at that. Okay, we got a, quite a few items here. Here we have a mini USB cable that you could attach to your computer. Or you could actually attach this to a power bank and install it to your dash cam for power and it will stay on. This is another trick you could use. You also have this pry bar, which is very good, very helpful. And when you're installing your cables from the A-pillar to the headliner or just around your car, really nice. And then, of course, you have these little uh, cable management clips here. And they're, they're pretty neat. But with my installations, we always go inside the headliner where you don't see any wires. All right, this is how you insert the wire. You pretty much get one of the opening sides that you see. One side's a flat surface, one side has a little opening. You just push it in there and it clasps right behind it. And you push this on your, your window shield as the wires go in or down the A-pillar. But not a clean install. You can use it for something else if you like. It's just a little something extra. 
All right, that concludes the unboxing of the Two Guard Dash Cam. If this video was helpful for you, please hit that like button, and I appreciate that from you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, select all notifications for all upcoming videos, because we got more videos of this Dash Cam. We got the installation video. We also have the review of this Dash Cam coming soon. All the products will be linked in the description down below to purchase. If you have any questions or comments about this dash cam or any videos I have, please leave them in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.